What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Mr. Nineties Kid, coming back with a short reaction video, and it's from the one and only, the richest, giving you ten lies about the human body you shouldn't believe. If you guys are looking forward to watching the original video, I'll put that video link in the description below. Let's watch this. We have been taught certain things about our body that kept us in check and in control. We believe these things so much they actually became truth. Here are 10 myths about your body that you shouldn't believe. 10% of our brains. Supposedly, brain. humans only use 10% of their brains. And if we were only able to harness more of our brain power, there's no telling what could happen. But in reality, we use almost our whole brain on a daily basis, depending on our activity at the moment. As we do different things throughout the day, parts of our brain activate to help us complete those tasks. This is why even damaging a small part of our brain can have detrimental results. Eating sugar. There's a common myth that is especially prevalent in children that if you eat sugar, you're gonna get hyper. However, there is no substantial proof that eating sugar will affect your energy levels or cognitive state. Sugar will still rot your teeth and cause you to get fat though, so it's best to just avoid it altogether if possible. What? Come on, son, you serious? So you think this entire time when I was a kid, eating all of that sugar was just, well that hyper shit just don't exist and it was just about me. Okay. Water consumption. Numerous doctors and health boards have told us all that we have to drink at least eight glasses of water a day in order to stay hydrated. In reality though, someone who lives a sedentary lifestyle doesn't need as much water as someone who's more active throughout the day. Essentially, water consumption varies from person to person. Eyesight. There are a few myths involving eyesight that include reading in the dark will damage your eyes, as well as sitting too close to the television screen. The former was probably created so partners could go to sleep without having to deal with the light, and the latter was probably said to keep people out of the way of the TV. In fact, your eyes actually adjust to their surroundings, and the damage isn't really made. Five senses. For years, we have been taught that we only have five senses, taste, sight, smell, touch, and hearing. But yep. scientists and researchers have found that we actually have countless different senses that have yet to be discovered, researched, and named. Some senses include being able to tell the temperature as well as being able to predict and react to pain. White teeth. You know, that's actually true. For decades, we have been told that a happy and healthy smile is full of white teeth. Toothpaste and teeth whitening models all promise a natural looking smile that'll make you look good. But in reality, teeth are actually naturally yellow. But a yellow smile doesn't look very good. Modern day teeth whitening techniques actually do more damage than not brushing your teeth as all of your enamel gets damaged. Tongue tasting. For years, there was a myth that each section of your tongue tasted different things like salt, sweet, sour, etc. But all the taste buds actually work together to taste everything, which means that you don't need to worry about where to plant your food on your tongue. Cracking knuckles. Maybe it was because the sound was annoying, but the myth that cracking knuckles causes arthritis is actually not accurate. A study was done in 2011 by doctors Kevin DeWeber, Marius Olszewski, and Rebecca Ortolano, and found there was no correlation between osteoarthritis and cracking your knuckles. Shaving. They say that if you shave, your hair is going to grow back thicker and darker, which is why many women will refrain from shaving in places like their face and legs in fear of looking like bears. But this concept is simply a myth. The reason why it looks like hair is growing back thicker is because shaving causes the end of the hair to be frazzled and rough, which makes the hair look different. Water wrinkles. After you've taken a long bath, shower, or gone swimming for a significant amount of time, you know that your hands and fingers become wrinkled. Your yep. mom may have said it's because the water has been absorbed into your body, but the wrinkling is actually a response by your body so that you have a better grip in slippery environments. So that's our video, folks. Did you learn something? Let us know what your favorite was in the comments. I think I did. Shit. I think I did. But what the fuck is that? Plastic surgery case. This is it went too far. Ugh, this shit looks scary. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the short video. If you did, give it a like, comment, and or subscribe. It's your boy, Fisher 90s Kid. And I'll see y'all to the next video. Uh -huh. What? Okay, I won't deny it. Half the time you send a text, yeah, you know I'm not replying. Just to let you know I'm not one of them niggas you be dodging. I'm the one that you dodge with. I'm the one that you gonna take that dress you're saving out the closet. I'm the one you need alone.